Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a part two of the video that I made this morning. And yes, I made a mistake and give me a little slack because I've only ever used Dark Crane for like quickly capping Vision World or the raid so far. I haven't really used him for anything serious. So yes, he now he has his TMR equipped. We're going to be using that and I already did the test run, but for the video's sake, if he does not do that, the damage that you show on the screen there, that's Renoa's champion score. If he does not do that amount of damage, uh, well, we're going to have to, she doesn't even have to show up. But this time, since Dark Rain has a Dark Amp already, Leon was not really necessary. So if he does do more damage, then we're going to go ahead and put Renoa and we're going to give her some killers as well uh, for that. So that being said, I think we're good to go. Um, the team is the exact same and everything is the same except his TMR is now available. So let's go. And now we're doing the missing step of quadcast and quadcasting his TMR. That's all we're doing this turn. So let's see you in turn three. All right. Let's go ahead and use lightning's lump burst. And we're going to use the human killer buff, which is this. 150% human killer. Dark Imperil, which is this. I always have to look at it because I, uh, yeah. Summon Diabolos for extra. Quad cast or tag chainer. And let's check out his stats. It should be like nine, yeah, nine, 9.5. Wait for that to go through so it doesn't mess up anything. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't probably wouldn't done anything, but just to be sure. And apparently there's actually a cap on bosses. But you can still see that obviously he did more than what's shown on the screen there, guys. So now we know it actually has to show up. Uh, hopefully there's a claim and Axe Star uh, on my friends list that I can use. Unfortunately, JP Decide does not let you bring your own units to trials. But he was able to hit the damage cap now, guys. With this TMR, sorry about, sorry about the last video. He really, he really needs that on uh, that turn too. He really needs that focus boost. Obviously, yeah, he, um, but on the other side, to be fair, now we're going to have to figure out, I'm going to have to figure out a way to fit all four, uh, all four apocalypses, at least three out of four into that chain. It's going to be really tough, but I'm going to practice until I get it right, guys. So now we're going to know it has to come in. All right, let's go. All right, I actually had to set up my own Dark Knight Leon. So this is mine on my alt account. So Dark Knight Leon has nothing on. Just he's just there for the dark amp. So actually, this this build will be slightly improved because I don't have little burst damage on her. Because that that's like a like a thing that I just assume that they need little burst damage. She doesn't need any at all. So she has three percent human killer and a bit more stats than last time. And I was I think. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I, I did some practice, so hopefully I'm able to do it. Uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. Let's get into it. By the way, again, for anyone who didn't see the other video, the reason why we need Dark Knight Leon is because she only has 30% amp. And the reason why Rain didn't need it because his is 50. So actually there's a, there's a 5% discrepancy in terms of that situation. So turn one, summon Diabolos. Turn to use her LB for the mod buffs and also the store stack. And then turn three, we're going to do all the usual stuff. The dark and peril, the human killer. Although the last one didn't have human killer, but this time it does. It, this time it will. Lightning's, lightning's in a little curse there. And also I can't, uh, it's not that that was the 30%. This is the 45% dark and for her. Quadcast and another quad cast. And here's the trick that I now may be different on this boss, but when I was practicing, it was eight and I don't know how you how do you do half of a second, but eight and a half seconds. I guess you'll just have to do it on instinct. So that's why I got it, guys. Uh, eight and a half seconds, at least if you're using and app, maybe more on emulator or less, depending. I don't know. But uh, here we go. Eight and a half seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let 
We fit them all in? I, 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 I think that last one maybe. Pretty sure we fit them all in. All right, well, to be fair, Dark Rain is only one hit. And he hit the damage cap, so we don't really know what his ember could possibly be in terms of that. But I mean, this is even better than my previous record. Uh, I was only hitting two of four, remember guys, I was only hitting two apocalypses. So still, still, even with Dark Reigns, I think Dark Reigns in a better light now than the last video, to be fair. Uh, he really needs that, he really needs his TMR and that sucks, but at the same time, at the same time, uh, he does have 200% killer, so as long as you're only fighting like one, maybe two races, you'll probably still be able to build him pretty well. If you're fighting anything beyond two races, uh, they did have a struggle with that. But he really needs his TMR on that turn two. The comments were right. The comments were right. And uh, I made this video to correct that mistake. So apologies for that last video. That was, I thought it was pretty well done, but it was not even close. This This video is definitely... Uh, much better than the last one um i just wish that there was no damage cap for the boss so that we could actually see how much he would actually do but he probably do probably around this much give or take i'm, I'm guessing he would do around this much even though he's only doing one hit but i still think we're... now here's my final assessment here guys this is my final assessment dark rain is an slb unit you need him to be ex3 to make maximize his maximum potential Renoa is a brave shift unit you only need her to be ex1 to get her full potential now you need to entrust her uh, for sure but ex2 you don't need to entrust her so like ex1 ex2 you're all set and that's all you really need for Renoa. like she's she's a brave shift unit she has a lot of flexibility she has that base form she can be a tag chainer as well i think that's pretty neat so yeah so that's about it guys i don't know what else i can say i think i, I think i'm really glad that renault was given some justice finally in this game because the seven star was really bad and there's some serious copium going around and people saying that seven star renault was not bad she was bad really bad and this is someone renault is one of my favorite characters so i'm really glad they gave her some justice guys renault is definitely given justice here so in closing, stay tuned for Sunday. I believe Sunday is what we agreed upon. There's going to be a video between me and Sinzar. And so we're going to be talking about some stuff. I don't want to go into a whole bunch of detail on it because uh, I want that part to be a surprise, but I want not to be surprised about the collaboration. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to his channel if you're not already. For some reason, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh enjoy the collaboration on sunday but i'll still be making videos before then of course but i just want to make this now anyways i'm gonna stop rambling appreciate you peace